Welcome viewers, today on TV Box Top, I have a compact mini LED projector from Centrium. This is the Centrium L1 and it's a 480p compact projector with built-in Android 9 operating system, built-in touchpad controls and a digital keystone correction. In this review, we'll take a look at its compact innovative design, its input-output peripherals, its built-in Android operating system, its touchpad controls and its display and sound quality. And in the end, we'll take a look at its pros and cons and you'll get to decide whether this product is right for you. So stay tuned, my full review is up next. Today's video is sponsored by TomTop, a reliable wholesale and retail online store with a variety of high quality products that you can buy at the lowest prices with available coupons. Currently, they are hosting a back to school sale with huge discounts over 60% on selected brands, enjoy flash deals from top name brands such as a Xiaomi and a Lenovo and they also provide a huge selection of open box items at ridiculously low prices. So head on over to TomTop tomtop.com and take advantage of these flash sales, discount coupons and limited time offers. To be taken directly to these offers along with the open box and the use item section, see the link in the description directly below this video. So in the box, you have the Centrium L1 unit itself. You get one IR remote control one micro HDMI to full size HDMI cable, a mini tripod, a micro USB charging cable, a 5 volt 3 amps DC power adapter, and a user's manual. For its design, its body is mostly made of plastic with touchpad controls to the top that consist of volume controls, a mute button, a home button and a back button with the touchpad function at the center. You also have an LED indicator. To the rear, you have one HDMI 1.4 port, one USB 2.0 port, a reset pinhole button, a headphone jack and a micro USB charging port. To one side, you have a micro SD card reader and a focus wheel. On the opposite side, you have a power standby button and a power switch. At the front, you have the projector lens with an intake cooling vent for the built-in cooling fan. To add some strength to the body, the strip along the sides is made of metal. And below the projector, you have another plastic panel with four anti-skid rubber feet, a screw hole for mounting to the included tripod or any other tripod you may have, and a speaker vent for the built-in speaker. So to set it up, you have a couple of options seeing that it comes with a built-in rechargeable battery. First, you have the option of using the power adapter with the micro USB cable. This will ensure long hours of usage. Next, you can charge it and use the internal rechargeable battery which will give you approximately 2 hours on a full charge. The third option is where you can use a power bank that will give you a mobile option because it will first run on the power bank's power then resort to the internal battery. This can double or triple the viewing time especially if you carry this on a trip or use it outdoors. So here I have it set up on the included mini tripod for this demonstration and I'm also using my projector stand to give it some height to focus on my projector screen. When you start the L1, you are greeted with the Centrium logo and Android animation for approximately 38 seconds before you are taken to the Android launcher. The launcher is a hybrid between an Android TV box launcher and a projector launcher. To access the settings of the projector, you simply click on settings. They have created 8 easy to use sections that allow you to adjust its configuration. Under network settings, it's very straightforward. You simply select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. This projector has dual band 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi as you will see in a moment. Under Bluetooth, it's the same. Simply select the Bluetooth device you would like to connect to and approve it. Under language settings, you have 53 various languages to choose from.
you have a date and time settings. Under projection settings is where you have auto screen rotation. Manual screen orientation. Brightness adjustment. Vertical keystone correction where you can set it to auto or manual. You have the same settings for horizontal keystone correction. And the final option is your zoom settings. You have audio settings. All of this really does is adjust the volume. You have other settings. This settings is for the Android installation. However, there is no display settings to adjust its picture quality. And the final section is basic hardware information. Before I proceed with the video demonstration, I will quickly run through its system and hardware information and the features you get with the Android operating system. The main board on the inside is an Amlogic macaroni board with 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 16GB of internal storage from which this is the remainder. The Bluetooth version is 5.0 and that's according to the product description. Its CPU, which is an Amalogic CPU, is a 64-bit quad-core Cortex-A55 CPU clocked at 1.7 GHz, configured in a 32-bit mode with support for only 32-bit ABIs. Its GPU, which is the Mali G31, has a max resolution of 854x480 with OpenGL ES version 3.2 support. Under network, it shows that it has dual-band 5 GHz Wi-Fi support. Under battery, it shows the status of the rechargeable battery. Its operating system is Android 9 Pi and it shows that the projector is rooted. Under devices, it shows that it does not have Vulkan support. With its internal cooling fan and a hot projector lens, it has an operating temperature of around 61 degrees Celsius. Under codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K videos and videos with digital surround sound formats. However, it would be scaled down to 480p on the projection display. And that's its system and hardware information. With this projector, the Android operating system is rooted, which gives you the freedom to install any app without restrictions as you have full access to the Google Play Store. It has Google Wide Vine Level 3 with no HDCP DRM protection. This means that it can only play premium movie streaming services in standard or basic quality. The Root Checker app shows that the operating system is rooted. You can play YouTube videos and select 4K quality. Just keep in mind that the actual projection display is 480p.
You can use alternative launchers along with custom wallpapers and this launcher comes with a navigation bar and status bar. It comes pre-installed with the official version of Miracast for Android devices and AirPlay for iOS devices. It has a mobile remote control feature where you can control the projector using your cell phone or tablet. This easy share feature also allows you to share files between your mobile device and the projector. It has the ability to play 3D videos but only from self-hosted files. To play 3D videos, the manual states that you will need a pair of 3D glasses and you will need it to disable the auto horizontal keystone correction and the screen zoom feature. In order to play the video file, you will have to use the default video player that has a 3D feature that has options while playing 3D videos. Here's a quick demonstration. And finally, it has Bluetooth 5.0 and with this you can connect your Bluetooth controls such as a Bluetooth Air Mouse, Gamepad controller and Bluetooth speakers. I will now fine tune its settings for optimal display and play some videos and one Android game to test its picture quality and internal speaker sound quality.
so the picture brightness is not the best but it's watchable. However, I found it difficult to adjust the focus due to the focus wheel being very soft and tiny at the same time. The internal speaker is not very powerful but you can clearly hear it. Also, there is little to no noise from the internal cooling fan. Now I will connect it to my audio receiver via Bluetooth to test for audio playback latency. As you can see, it connected to my receiver via Bluetooth successfully. It even displays a Centrium on the receiver's display. So the projector connected to my receiver via Bluetooth successfully and I didn't experience any lag in audio during the playback. And while it's connected to my receiver, I will now play one Android game just to check its graphics rendering. So the gaming quality is not the smoothest, but it is playable. So viewers have come to the end of this review. The Centrium L1 is a good option if you are looking for a mobile projector that's small enough to fit in your pocket with lots of features compact into a small form factor that's ideal to take camping or could be a great form of entertainment if you work in a small space and need just a little bit of cinematic experience to keep you occupied especially if you don't have a TV. My only wish for this device is that its lumens could be a bit brighter and its focus wheel could be larger and firm. And with that said, if you are interested in the L1, you can get it at an affordable price. See the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. If you are new to this channel and would like to see more, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to be notified when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.